Hi everyone, I am Kanjan Ranasinghe presenting our work on self supervised Video Transformer, abbreviated SVT. Recently, self supervised learning has been dominated by contrastive methods that work with positive and negative sample pairs. Self-distillation methods eliminate the negative sample dependency and leverage alternate view generation to achieve exceptional performance. In SVT, we explore the latter with respect to videos and transformer backbones. We propose novel view generation techniques suitable for the self supervised learning paradigm while leveraging some unique VIT characteristics to further improve performance. Let us have a look at SVT in more detail. We explore two view generation forms specific to videos that enforce cross view and motion correspondences. Cross view refers to limiting the field of view by cropping across space or time axis of a video. Motion refers to variable frame rates, which is coupled with variable spatial resolution to maintain fixed compute costs. These distinct views differ on the semantic structure of actions across space time, which is used as the self supervision signal. Consider this example, where a limited spatial crop capturing only a part of the gymnast or temporal crop with only a part of the jump can still be identified as the same action or at a different frame rate the action is still recognizable consistency across such views is what we enforce during svt training we enforce that consistently jointly across space time by simply pushing together projections of these views in feature space following this strategy we generate multiple views tagged global and local based on how much of the video they span. The high resolution global view is considered the target and all other views are matched to it in feature space. The target view is processed by an exponential moving average teacher model and the online student model processes the remaining views. This teacher student self distillation setup is motivated from image self supervision cases. In terms of network architecture, a standard VIT with space-time separated attention and class token is used as the backbone with an MLP predictor head for the target feature regression. In terms of the train objective, a standard cross-entropy loss is applied over the feature dimension between each prediction target pair. A linear sum of all these separate losses is used as the overall loss during training. In this training scheme, our view generation results in sampled inputs of variable temporal sizes. Dynamic positional embeddings commonly used in VITs are leveraged during training to handle these variable sized inputs. Our uniqueness is in its application to videos where one of space or time resolution can be increased while reducing the other, maintaining fixed overall compute. In implementing, a learnable positional embedding vector is initialized at the highest train time resolution across each axis. During inference, we utilize this to process different resolution views in parallel using a common shared network, leading to performance improvements at fixed compute cost. The slow stream with high spatial resolution and the fast stream with high temporal resolution can extract complementary information. Here we visualize the attention maps of SVT following other VIT based works. In comparison to a baseline without our proposed view correspondences, SVT attention focuses more on action heavy regions in input videos. The representations learned by SVT are evaluated on the standard downstream task of action classification. A linear head over the SVT backbone is used during evaluation under both linear probe with a frozen backbone or end to end fine tuning settings. SVT obtains competitive results in comparison to state of the art in both cases or multiple data sets. Please check out our paper for more results. We highlight how SVT can also train with small batch sizes and can converge faster. In conclusion, we show how self supervised learning from videos with VIT backbones under self distillation settings can reach state of the art. Our proposed cross wave and motion correspondence objectives support the self supervision leveraging some unique VIT characteristics like dynamic input resolutions and slow fast inference. Thank you and hope you check out our project page. Our code is also available publicly.